Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be comparing the 2020 Ford Escape versus the 2020 Ford Explorer. This vehicle competes against the Toyota RAV4 and also the Chevy Equinox. And the Explorer competes against the Chevy Tahoe and also the Kia Telluride. So my question for today's video is, which one should you pick if you have the right amount of money? So that's what we're here to find out. So we have the powertrain specs for the 2020 Ford Escape. This is a 1.5 three-cylinder. It has 27 in the city, 33 on the highway, 30 combined. Regular fuel is recommended. It can tow 2,000 pounds. So it's capable of towing. It has an 8-speed automatic transmission. So we're going to switch over to the Ford Explorer. This has a 2.3 liter. It makes 300 horsepower, 315 foot-pounds of torque. 21 in the city, 28 on the highway, and 24 combined. Regular fuel is recommended, and this does have a 10-speed automatic transmission. So it has two more gears. So 3,000 3, plus more pounds than the Escape, which can total 5,000 pounds. So in the front face of the 2020 Ford Escape, this particular trim that I have is the SEL trim. And the exterior color for this one is the eight gate black metallic. Acts like the headlight uh, design. It looks like a Porsche to me. You also have incandescent turn signals with an uh, incandescent uh, high beam with halogen headlights. Unfortunately, you guys have to go with the uh, titanium trim, which is the uh, higher level trim to get the full LED lights. Or you guys can just option that in. I'm not too sure because here at this particular dealership, they don't actually have uh, one with the actual LED light packaging. I also have an LED daytime running light. This does have uh, fog lights on this particular trim. I actually like the black mesh grill with the aluminum uh, front splitter here at the um, at little part of your bumper. I also have your Ford emblem. We're going to take a look at the uh, Ford Explorer here. Uh, LED lights are going to be standard across uh, all trim levels. This particular trim level that I have is the XLT and the exterior color is a uh, iconic silver. I also have LED reflector headlights with an LED uh, high beam with LED fault lights here as well. I actually like this grill with the three or uh, with the four uh, chrome uh, slats here with your Ford emblem. Let's take a look at the side profile of the 2020 Ford Escape. So on the side profile of the 2020 Ford Escape. So starting with these wheels, these are a 225 60 Michelin tire with the 18 inch rim. I actually like uh, the multi-spoke design here with this gun uh, powder finish design. The wheelbase is 106 with overall length of 180. We're gonna take a look at the uh, Ford Explorer. On the side profile of the 2020 Ford Explorer. So starting with these wheels, these are a 255 65 18 inch rim. They're a uh, five-spoke design. I actually like the wheels on the actual Ford Explore, uh, Ford Escape, I'm sorry. It looks way, way better. Your wheelbase is 119 with the overall length of 198.1. I actually like the actual rear of the Explorer with this uh, floating roof design. But we're gonna take a look at the rear of the Ford Escape. So at the rear of the 2020 Ford Escape, this does have an LED uh, combination. You also have an LED brake light with incandescent turn signal with an incandescent uh, reverse light. You also have your SEL badge here with your ex uh, escape name spelled out like a Porsche. You also have this rear blade to keep your rear window clean. You also have a stand-up backup camera. You also have uh, dual exhaust back here as well. With all seats filled up, you guys are looking about a good 34.4 cubic feet of space. If you guys fold those seats down, 65.4. So we're gonna go over to the Ford Explorer, which has the, basically the same uh, setup as the Escape with 
a LED combination. You also have LED brake lights, the incandescent turn signal with an incandescent reverse light. You also have your XLT badge here with your Explorer name spelled out. You also have a, back, a standard backup camera with a washer on it. Unlike the Escape, you don't have a washer on the end of that one. Not sure why, but I think this is going to be more off-road. Uh, you also have a real spoiler for both. I forgot to mention that. You also have a real blade for the rear window to keep it clean. You don't actually have a uh, dual exhaust, but it doesn't come up to the portion here. And we open up your cargo uh, hatch here. With all seats folded up, you're looking at about a good 18 cubic feet of space with all seats folded down, 87.7. So we're getting inside the 2020 Ford Explorer. We're gonna talk about the interior. All right, guys. So I'm gonna be real brief on the interior because I already did a full review of like the materials and stuff. But I'm still gonna talk about the materials, but it's gonna just be like basically brief. So to start up the Explorer, put your foot on the brake and press the start button here. And this is the key fob. You have your lock, unlock, your two uh, remote start. You also have your uh, tailgate release and your panic button. So starting off, this doesn't have the full 12 inch display. This does have your normal. Uh, tachometers, which is your RPM, your speedo. You also have this uh, LCD display here. You also have your cruise control settings, your volume controls. You also have the little uh, switch here. You guys can cycle through different things like your fuel economy, the ra your radio presets, your tire pressure, your trip one, and it defaults back to your fuel economy. The paddles on the wheel, which are plastic. You also have your turning signal stock, wind wiper stock. The materials in here is going to be our hard touch uh, material with a brushed aluminum door handle. You also have your lock controls. Your mirror controls here, it is express up, express down for all four windows. I was expecting that. You also have a uh, cup holders down here with more additional storage. It's gonna be a hard touch plastic. Your upper part of your dashboard is gonna be a hard touch material with this uh, eight inch display as well. You also have big volume and tuning knobs. You also have your sink and your track with dual climate control. This is missing the heated seats, the heated uh, steering wheel and cool seats. You also have your, uh, this tray here. You also have a USB-C. A USB port with a 12 volt, and this one doesn't have a wireless charging pad. So, you, like I said, you guys, if you guys want to get electric, uh, a wireless charging pad, you have to go to a, a uh, higher trim. You also have your rotary dial, put it into reverse. You also have this grainy backup camera with trajectory. You also can zoom in if you guys were uh, hitching your trailer or whatnot. It does have the 10 speed uh, transmission with electronic parking brake, auto hold. You also have the your auto on stop feature with your stability control here. You guys can turn it on and off and with your different drive modes um, we're going to start off with normal eco sport and tow haul the crazy thing is when i want to go back to the right side they really click the uh the other side the right the right hand button to go back you also have slippery with a trail mode and that does turn the stability control off um your glove box is damped it's not with help it's pretty big honestly you also have this brushed uh aluminum look like trim in here with two cup holders a place to store your phone and it does have this, the wireless charging it's supposed to be you also have this tray here with a 12 volt with incandescent lighting you have uh led light throughout the whole cabin you also have the sunglass holder here and then there's a eight-way power driver adjustable seating to give you more comfort um on the road you also have this leather wrap steering wheel which is a three spoke design which i like on the st model you guys will get an st badge here a little part of the uh steering wheel but we're gonna take a look at the interior of the 2020 ford escape so getting into the interior of the 2020 ford escape uh look at the key fob is the same key fob as the ford explorer i feel like ford should definitely change up the key fob which has your um unlock lock remote start and tailgate release, I also have a panic button. So to fire up the uh, escape, just put your foot on the brake and press the start button here. This one has the old uh, switches in here, like the RPM layout and also your speedo. But if you guys want to get a uh, 12 inch uh, cluster, you guys have to go for the titanium trim or the, hy the hybrid trim. But as of right now, I'm not sure if anybody in America actually has the uh, hybrid trim right now. I know across and like in Europe and different places like that, they definitely have it. Well, the, the materials in here is gonna be a soft touch upper part of your window. You also have three person memory seats with your unlock controls. Have this brush limit door handle with the mirror controls here. Unfortunately, the mirrors do not electrically fold in. Same with the Explorer, the mirrors don't fold in. It is express up, express down for all four. Uh, windows. I kind of, I wasn't expecting that honestly because I know with the titanium trim, it, uh, you could probably definitely get that. You also have your headlight fixtures over here. This is a manual uh, tilt telescoping wheel, which does have a nice uh, range of ability. You also have your uh, cruise control settings here with your vibe controls. It's the same setup in the Explorer, but this one feels, the, the steering wheel feels a little bigger to compare it to the Explorer. It has a, a leather wrap steering wheel. You also have voice commands. You also can cycle through 
the your uh this tiny lcd display here with this uh switch like your radio presets uh your nav and your driver assistant this does have the four co 360 with single climate control uh climate control sorry the three person um, three he three level heated seats with the heated steering wheel uh unfortunately in the ford explorer you don't have heated seats heated steering wheel have none of that this does seem like it has a little bit more tech but the interior wise in here i would prefer the ford explorer you also have this eight inch display this does have embedded nav this is the saint three it's snappy when it wants to be some days but i feel like ford is doing good with the actual uh, head unit um your upper part of your dash material here is going to be a hard touch material you also have this uh, rotary dial which is kind of smaller compared to the uh, ford explorer put it into reverse you also have trajectory with distance markers you can also zoom in just like on the explorer to uh tow this can tow 2,000 pounds you also have electronic parking brake auto hold feature with different uh drive modes which include normal eco sport slippery and also deep sand uh, I mean deep snow and sand but it does turn the stability control off as well you also have two cup holders here in your center um, console is nice and padded you also have a USB port in here you also have a USB USB-C down here with a 12 volt uh, unfortunately this one doesn't have the wireless charging pad just like in the Ford Escape I mean Explorer I'm sorry it doesn't have the um, charging uh, wireless charging pad as well your glove box it's smaller compared to the actual Ford Escape but it's definitely not damp online with up you guys can definitely put the owner's manual in there and my particular tester does have the uh, panel uh, summer which is optional which is like one thousand uh, four hundred and ninety five dollars also have the switches here to close it so I have LED lights throughout the whole cabin so getting to the back seat of the Ford Escape closing the door door has a nice solid slam the materials back here hard touch plastic unfortunately you also have two air vents back here with a 12 volt the floor is uh nice and flat you can sit definitely uh seat three people across you only have one mat pocket you also have this panel sunroof which is 1495 dollars option you also get uh, two cup holders the seating back here the materials they feel just like the front seat nice leather material there's no heated seats or cool seats in this particular channel i'm mistakenly uh i probably think that you can probably get like heater or cool seats if you guys get the titanium trim we're going to take a look at the ford explorer so again to the second row of the ford explorer if you guys don't like black unfortunately that's the only option you guys can get if you guys only get the platinum trim you guys get like a beige uh interior but closing the door here sign up the materials um soft touch material you also have this brushed aluminum door handle with a cup holder with some storage down here in the lower part of your uh, door. And you also can slide the seats forward and back to accommodate the person in the third row. You also have two map pockets with tri-zone climate controls. You also have a USB-C, a USB port with a 12 volt. You also have the center uh, console here with uh, two cup holders with the more additional storage. Uh, this one doesn't have a panel sunroof or a moonroof. We have to go like with the uh, higher trim package or you guys can just option in the sunroof. You also have this uh, grab door handles here. Overall, we're going to take a look at the third row of the Ford Explorer. So to access the third row of the Ford Explorer, you press this little lever here, which seems pretty hard, but the seat will hydraulically slide forward. You also have this nice alley to get in. Excuse me, I got my ass in the camera. <laughs> so the uh, third row seating back here, I wish Ford would just basically gave the third row a little more cushion because uh, with the second row back here that I, I pushed back, my knees are touching the uh, seat back of this. Before it raised this as 39 inches of uh, leg room. This has more leg room in the third row compared to the Kia Telluride, which has 37 inches of leg room. We also have uh, two cup holders back here. There's no USB port, no um, USB C's. There's no heated or cool seat for the third row. And I also got to mention that in the actual second row, you probably have to get a higher uh, trim uh, level in the Explorer um, lineup. The hard touch materials back here are hard touch plastic. But overall, we're going to get into the driving portion of the video and see which one handles better, which one has the better fuel economy. Off in the 2020 Ford Escape, this has 180 horsepower and 177 foot-pounds of torque. Um, my apologies, guys. I thought uh, the Ford Copilot 360 that you guys had to pay for, but it's the Ford Copilot 360 assist, which is 695. Includes emergency braking, blind spot monitoring. Uh, this the fuel economy is 27 in the city, 33 on the highway. A 1.5 uh, three cylinder. Um, in my other view, I thought it was a uh, 1.5 four cylinder, but it's a three cylinder. It does have the uh, auto on start feature. It's very responsive. You take your foot off the brake and it starts right back up for you guys. 
uh, handle in here. That's nice. It does. It ha kind of has a little bit of body lean. You guys go like this, but fairly, it, it handles pretty good. The ride quality in here is firm. It goes over bumps pretty well, even though our roads here in Miami are very crappy. And if you guys want to turn on, turn your auto on, stop off. You guys can press a little uh, button here, and it pops up in the uh, LED with the LCD uh, display up here as well. Oh, the ride quality is very soft in here. Like I said, when it goes over bumps, it goes over the bumps pretty well. Um, I actually have the camera mounted to the uh, driver window, so the camera is going to be a little shaky here and there when I go over bumps. Because like I said, our roads here are very, very crappy in certain areas. Um, but overall, we're going to hop inside the Ford Explorer. Really two different vehicles, different uh, powertrains. But we're going to hop in that one and see how that one compares to the Ford, Ex Ford Escape. Hopping out of the 2020 Ford Escape. I'm inside the 2020 Ford Explorer. So definitely starting off, uh, the ride quality in here feels good. Um, of course, you're gonna sit a little higher compared to the actual Ford Escape. This has 300 horsepower, 315 foot pounds of torque, 21 in the city, 28 on the highway. Uh, regular fuel is recommended. And this also has a 2.3 liter. If you guys want to get more horsepower, you have to go with the Ford ST or the uh, Ford Platinum, which gives you 400 horsepower and 415 foot pounds of torque. But if you guys want to go luxury, of course, you guys know you guys can go with the Lincoln Aviator, which gives you 400 even, which is horsepower and torque. Downshifting, which sounds nice. And of course, you guys know that the sound is being amplified through the actual speakers. Um, steering quality feels just like in the um, Escape. It handles pretty well. You also have different drive modes with normal. You also have eco, which is for like saving gas. You also have sport. It kind of had a little lag there for some reason. Not sure why. You also have a tow haul mode. And yes, this can tow 5,000 pounds. Just like in the uh, Escape, it can tow 2,000 pounds. Also has four Copilot 360 emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, uh, lane keep assist. Gosh. Jesus Christ! Okay, that thing got an aggressive pull. I was honestly, I was not expecting that. Probably, probably in the ST that was expected, but in this one, I was not expecting that. In the Escape, <laughs> it was not doing that whatsoever. Uh, it, I had my foot on the brake and I was. Hold, uh, I had my foot on the throttle it was it jumped at 3000 rpm and it's not even in sport mode that's in normal so if you can imagine if it was in sport mode that was very very aggressive but um like i said if i were to pick one i'm gonna definitely conclude my pick at the end of this video uh so you guys will know but the erotic the ride quality in this one is way better than the actual ford uh but in this one of course you guys know uh it does have these little uh medians in the middle so I'm not gonna put no foot on the brake or anything like that. It's gonna just keep rolling in through and then put my foot down. It sounds good, but I, I would, would prefer the ST sounding because it sounds more better in my honest opinion. But the interior in here feels very, very spacious. This does have three row compared to the Escape, which only gives you just uh, the, the second row basically compared to this one. Um, if the camera shaky is because the road quality uh, sucks here in Miami, like I mentioned in the Escape. But fuel economy is pretty good, 21, 28. Let's curve and see how the handling and handling is. Um, 
smooth. Feel like it had a, just a little bit of body roll. A little bit here and there. I don't really care for the sound. The sound sounds real raspy, honestly. Two, three. So we're talking pricing for the 2020 Ford Escape and also for the 2020 Ford Explorer. So you guys never really see me do this, but I had to take out my cheat sheet because it's too much thing. It's too much money basically floating around in this one little uh, section here. And I can't remember every single spec on each car. If there is by itself individually, of course I can, but unfortunately I'm doing two at a time. So base price start off with the Explorer is $36,000. $675. This does have the 202A package, which includes remote start, the eight-way driver uh, adjustabil adjustability, which is a $5,140 charge, which I think is crazy because this one even has a $5,000 option on it. So this one is kind of winning when it comes to uh, packaging wise. And this does have a destination charge of $1,195, but for it helps you save $1,000 on the equipment uh, group savings. So this one stickers for $42,000 ten dollars pricing for the ford escape base price also have at twenty nine thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars this does have the 301a package which includes the vista sunroof which is thousand four hundred and ninety five dollars this does have the ford co-pilot 360 which is six hundred and ninety five dollars the destination charge which is one thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars you guys are looking at a grand total of thirty two thousand six hundred and forty dollars so of course your main my main question was for this video which one would you pick if you guys had the money um me personally if i had the money i would pick this one just because it's way bigger you can carry more people this one's more of a compact you can fit five people this one you can fit up to six people you can fit five people so of course you're gonna one person compared to this one and this one has more uh, cargo so if i want to carry more stuff i would pick this one as well because this one has 65 cute fitted space while this one has 87.8 so this is way durable when it comes to carrying people it's way faster this has 300, this has 188, 180 uh, horsepower. So my bet is gonna go on this, even though it stickers for 42,000. Thanks to Shelton here at Ford of Kendall. If you guys are on the market for a 2020 Ford Explorer or a 2020 Ford Escape, you guys can come to Ford of Kendall. And it's my full review on both the Escape and also the Ford Explorer. Oh, in the comments below, if you guys actually like my comparison video, I think like I did good compared to my first ever comparison video, but you guys just comment down below and I catch you guys in the next video.